Welcome to Live Practice. This is where you can improve your skills on the court by earning attribute upgrades and valuable boosts for your next game. Complete the two scheduled drills and then feel free to shoot around with your teammates. Be sure to explore the gym for additional ways to earn extra rewards. Okay, guys, we need to pick up the intensity. Boston drill, here we go.
Listen up. We're good, but we could be better on the defensive end. Set it up.
Okay, we're good on the drills for now. Let's make sure we're getting better every day. The 2K Sports Pregame Show. Hey everybody, I'm Ernie Johnson, and trick-or-treating door-to-door with me tonight are Kenny the Jet Smith and Shaquille O'Neal. Happy Halloween, everybody. Trick-or-treat, give me something good to eat. And tonight, it'll be the Philadelphia 76ers going up against the Chicago Bulls. For Chicago, they were undefeated against this squad last season, going 3-0. We'll see if they can continue that dominance. And guys, we'll get to see Freak play in this one. He was one of the bigger names in college, jumped to the NBA after one year. 
Shaq, you left early as well. How hard of a decision was it to leave school? Well, I mean, it's never an easy decision. Uh, each person has, has different reasons uh, why they want to leave, financial responsibility, just getting tired. In my case, the hack of shack was created. Uh, I was getting beat up too much, and I heard my, my main man, Dick Vitale, say if Shaq leaves, he'll be the number one pick. So I didn't want to go back, get hurt. I woke up in a number one. Welcome, everyone. We have a very special treat for you here. No trip hits the NBA on Halloween. It's a special October 31st matchup. I'm Kevin Harlan alongside Clark Kellum and Greg Anthony. The Philadelphia 76ers preparing to defend home court in this Eastern Conference battle and going against Chicago, their first meeting of the season. They were blanked in this matchup a season ago. No wins and three tries. They'll try to improve on that dismal record here. Yeah, and a four-game season series between these two. Both will be looking to set the tone tonight. Yeah, and as they renew acquaintances, if you're the underdog, you always want to show, hey, we've got something new up our sleeves. It should be fun. Let's check out Chicago's starting lineup. Rose is the one with Butler as the two. At the four, it's Gasol with Noah at the five. And it's Turner in at the three, the small forward. You know, the defense has got to do a much better job of fighting over those screens. And Greg, especially when the ball is in his hands. I mean, come on now. You know he doesn't miss too many open looks like that. Now here's Rose. Pass to Noah. And, and Freak subbed in for Oakley. The Bulls also changing it up. Taj Gibson's checked in for Noah. Miritich comes in for Evan Turner. And it's Livingston in for Derrick Rhodes. Freak sets a screen for Roden. Pass to Embiid. And it's going to be two free throws. Drew contact on the shot. All right, a chance to check out stats for Gasol. He's coming off an excellent season. 14 in blocks. And he was among the top 20 rebounders in the league. Never shot about throwing his weight around in the paint. And, you know, anytime you take it inside against him, you know it may be coming back the other way. All right, now, gentlemen, two shots. Two shots. First free throw is good. Hollis Thompson's checked in for Tony Rowe. And MB drops them both. They can't guard us on the perimeter. Spread the floor and isolate up top. Spacing, fellas. Spacing. One more time. Give it up to your dream team. For Chicago, they've gotten six of 11 shots to go down so far. Pretty nice shooting. Gibbs on the screen. And they double up Butler. Livingston passes to Gibson. That drops and it comes off the assist from Livingston. Gibson's got his first bucket of the night. The 76ers trail by three. There's a screen by Noel. Freak kicks to MB. Misses the layup. Well, the effort was there, but he just couldn't quite fight his way through traffic. Miritich dishes to Livingston. And the shot counts. He's fouled, and it's a chance for a three-point play. And that's just a great individual play right through the teeth of the defense. First trip to the free-throw line for him tonight. And from the line a season ago, 73%. Now here's Freak. Not a lot of room. There's the dish to Embiid. Embiid with a screen on Miritich. Gasol with the steal. Two on one as they jump out on the break. 
finish off the break. Butler's got his first basket. They've been hot here early, dropping them in left and right. Rolling, rolling, rolling. We'll see how long they can keep it going. There's Freak. Here's MB. And lots of contact there. Missing the shot. He'll shoot two. These teams were last season's best passers. The squads with the most assists in the NBA. Number five, the Bulls. Just a gifted passing team. They play the kind of basketball that fans love to watch. Very unselfish and fluid offensively. That one misses. The Bulls leading by seven. Butler goes in. Here's Livingston. And it's wide right. Hits off the rim. 76ers have gone four of ten shooting the ball here in the first quarter. Embiid with the screen on Butler. They set the screen. Here's Covington defended by Butler. Shot clock at six. The feed to Embiid. Tries from 10. That's in. Coming off the assist from Thompson. Embiid's got five. 121 left to play in the first quarter. Livingston kicks to Butler. He feeds it to Gasol. The 10 footer. And Embiid pulls it down. And that one gives them a plus five rebound advantage, Kevin. Pretty clear. They're dominating that area. They've come out with a lot more energy and effort so far. Now here's Thompson. He hasn't yet put up any points in this one. Six to shoot. Embiid with it. Gasol covering. Covington inside the line. For Chicago, they have shot just one free throw earlier. One for one in the game. And, and their free throw percentage as a unit last year, 76% right around the middle of the road. The 76ers making a switch here. Hansbrough's checked in. Mike Dunleavy, he's checked in for the Bulls. Last outing for the Bulls, it was a loss to Miami. That final score really caught a lot of people off guard. I think we would have to quantify that one as an upset. Yeah, I thought they really tightened up at the end, guys. I mean, I think they were playing not to lose instead of playing to win. You've got to go after wins. You can't try to hold on to them. You've got to go get them. Here is Livingston. Eight-second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. And that's out of bounds. Chicago will retain possession. And again, no good by Chicago. Not sure what, what the D was doing there. Clearly a breakdown. You can ill afford to give a guy like him that good a look. And plenty of contact on the shot. So two free throws coming up. For Philadelphia, they have shot 80% from the line tonight going four of five so far. Tyler Hansbrough. Two shots. Okay, gentlemen, two shots, two shots. No good on the free throw. And the second free throw, good. Just four seconds left in the first quarter. One second left. the end of the first quarter. It's Chicago leading by six. And here's Freak on the importance of preparing for games. In my opinion, of course, just in my opinion, you can never practice enough. You know, even though I've been playing ball my whole life, I'm always finding ways to improve. Putting up jumpers, working on defensive schemes, 
Our coaching staff helps us practice all kinds of game situations so that when the time comes, we'll be prepared.